Over the past few years, I've noticed that the leather seats in my LX470 have deteriorated quite a bit. They were already pretty worn when I bought the truck four years ago, but with all of the adventure travel that we've done between then and now, they have really taken a beating and they're just slowly getting worse over time. And I'll be honest, these tears annoy the hell out of me and it is the first thing I notice every time I get in this truck. So a few months ago, I started researching options to replace or refresh the seats. And unfortunately for the most part, all the solutions that I found were varying shades of really expensive. At the top end for about four to six thousand dollars, I could have got brand new aftermarket seats from a company like Shieldman. Or for about two thousand dollars, I could have got the seat bottoms professionally reupholstered, refoamed, and then re-dye the rest of the seats, basically to make the front seats look like brand new. At least that's the quote I was given from a local upholstery shop. I could have ordered seat covers that are specific to my seats from a company like L Seat, or there's a number of different companies out there, varying quality. And those replacement seat covers could have been somewhere between like $350 and $1,000, but the problem with that is I would have still had to take them to an upholstery shop to get them installed, because from everything that I have read, unless you really know what you're doing, that is not a fun DIY job. Not feeling super thrilled about any of those options, I started to look at more basic slip-on seat covers that I could install myself. And I started looking at brands like the Carhartt Precision Fit seat covers, which are supposed to be pretty nice, but they cost about $450. And frankly, I don't really like the way that they look. I don't really like the fabric slip-on covers because these are leather seats and I want something that at least kind of looks OEM. But then as I was browsing forums one day, I came across a thread where some people had posted some really interesting pictures of a inexpensive slip-on car cover from a company called Coverado. And at about 150 bucks, honestly, the pictures made it look too good to be true. But I decided for 150 bucks, it was worth a gamble. And so I ordered them on Amazon a couple days ago and they just arrived. So I'm gonna get to work installing them and see if these things are too good to be true, or if this is the solution that I've been waiting for. All right, so first impressions, these things look pretty nice. I mean, it's not real leather, obviously, for 150 bucks. It feels really good to the touch, and the stitching, I'm pretty impressed just initially taking these things out of the box, but the real question is gonna be how well they actually fit the seats. I should note, these are universal. These are not like fitted for the LX470. These are universal, so these are supposed to work with like any SUV or a lot of cars. So that's gonna be the real question, but so far so good. Well, I just finished getting the passenger side seat cover installed. It was pretty easy. It took me maybe about 45 minutes just fiddling around with some things and trying to figure out exactly how to get it on, but it is fitting pretty well. It is fitting snug. I did have to cut a little slit in the seat cover here just so that I could reattach the armrest here, but really no big deal there. So far, I'm pretty happy. I think that the driver's seat, now that I've done the passenger seat, will probably take me about 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm going to install the driver's seat cover and then I'll come back to you and I'll give you my impressions and my thoughts and what I like and what I'm not super crazy about so far with these seat covers. A little longer than a few minutes later. Installation is complete. I got the driver and passenger side seat covers on and so initial impressions. 
uh, I'm really happy with these. Honestly, I had hoped when I ordered them that they would look as good in person and installed as they did in the pictures that I had seen. And they really do almost feel like they were fit and designed for these seats. Even though they aren't, these are a universal fit. In fact, fun fact, if you have an LX470 and you go to the Amazon link for these, which I'll put in the description below, it will say that it does not fit the LX470, but it does. And maybe the reason is that you have these armrests and so you do have to kind of uh, uninstall the armrests and then you have to cut a little slit in the seat cover to refit them. Maybe that's the reason why, but overall they fit really quite snug. They don't move around at all when I get in or out. Uh, I think the color is a pretty good match. I did not put the headrest covers on. It did come with headrest covers. I didn't put them on so you could see the difference. Obviously, it's not gonna be perfect, but at a glance, it's pretty darn good. And the quality of these for $150, is really pretty impressive. You know, it's got this diamond stitching on here. It's trying to give a luxury look. And then it's got the cow emblazoned, the cow crest here on the top, which is just hilarious. And I don't know how well they'll hold up, but they're supposed to be waterproof. And if we can get a couple years out of them, I would say that that's a win. But just looking at them, it doesn't annoy me nearly as much as getting in the truck with the faded leather seats that were ripped and cracked like I had before. So overall, I would say this was a huge success. I would absolutely buy these again. And so if you are someone like me, who's got an older vehicle that has some kind of nasty seats or seats you just want to cover up, or maybe you have a newer vehicle and you just want to protect your seats. I think these are worth looking at. If you don't want to spend thousands of dollars for 150 bucks again, I know I keep saying it, but 150 bucks is a killer deal for these. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions and I didn't answer them during the course of this video, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I will be sure to answer those for you. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy this video, consider subscribing to the channel for more LX470 content and overlanding content. And we do some real fun adventure videos on this channel. But anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. <music>